Looking to throw. And he gets this to Thornton. And he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. 18 yards there, and it'll be a first and goal. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there, and now they're looking at a first and goal. They'll try and run for him first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. On second and goal, they'll give it to him again. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. And man, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line. Because ordinarily, you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and help against the run. Now, they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Now, they'll put a receiver in motion left. And he'll get it here on the jet sweep. And he is in. Touchdown. Tyquan Thornton punching it in from a yard away. And the Patriots will strike first here in this wild card matchup. Now the extra point up and good by Aubrey. And that makes the score 7-0. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And this will not be brought out. It's a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is, and his first throw of the game. But I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I notice his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. Tongue of Iloa to throw on second down here. On oh, the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Two are going to throw. Well, the pressure gets there, and two is going to be taken down. He couldn't get away there on third down. The pressure too much, and he's sacked for a loss of 12. And he gets it away, a directional kick going toward the sideline. And the punt goes out of bounds. Where will they put it? They'll put it just inside the 45-yard line. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. They have to be thrilled with that first drive. They got him the touchdown. Now they'll be looking to make it a two-score advantage here on the road. And you know they spent all week in practice in meetings talking about taking an early advantage. Being the road team, going up a score, that takes the crowd out of the game. And now this is intercepted. My goodness. Picked up by Cam Smith. And the Dolphins are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. Well, that's a drive killer right there. Not a really confident throw either. This one was kind of up for grabs, and it's going to come down the hands of the wrong team. After the turnover, it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's H.M. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The drive starting play, a good one. Give him 19. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. Going to the air, Tugamailoa. And he's got his man on the out route. 
And a run pass midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Into the hands of the tight end, Dalton Kincaid. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Two is going to change things up. Now HN on first and 10. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Looking to pass. Tua. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. So eight yards on the completion there. And now third down and six to go. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And all will be intercepted. And the Pats are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, your first drive of the first quarter, you get it down there, try to fire it in the end zone, and big-time deflation on that play. No doubt about it. They're moving and grooving and getting into position, and this is not the ending that they saw on this drive, is it? They had things going their way. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back, but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Pass play there, and it's incomplete. But that's a defense coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. On third down, he'll drop to throw. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down, New England. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They'll wind up getting just a yard out of it, and it'll be second down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Flushed out right. And that's caught at the 25. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. What a play that turns out to be, 36 yards. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now a play fake here on first down. And this throw a bit late as he couldn't reach back for it. Then their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Here's second and 10.
Back to throw again. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Mark that as a gain of 16 to set him up first and goal. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys we on the go, ground, we, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. He'll find Schwartz complete right side. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Throw left side, there's Schwartz with it. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. Charles and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And two interceptions already here in this first half. That's got to affect him a little bit, right? He's got to be thinking about it. He's got to be thinking about it, but most of the good ones, they find a way to put it aside. They're not happy about it by any stretch of the imagination. They find a way to put it aside and continue to play their game. Can he put it aside? Let's find out. So quickly, all the way up at the 40-yard line. 21 g 21 g 20 GX. Now Tua. He's going to fire this thing deep right sideline. That's caught inside the 20. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he gets all the way down inside the 20-yard line. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Tua sets up to pass it. He'll dump this off to Ochan. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. So the completion good for seven there. And it's second down. And at his size, he's a smaller back. You can get him to football. He can kind of get lost, make someone miss. It's good for him. Yeah, it's great for him. I like what you said there. Sometimes he gets lost in the traffic a little bit. But get him out in the open field into some space. That plays to his strengths the best and keeps him out of it where all the big boys are, you know, make him make someone miss in the open field. Here's second and three. Now two are going to change the play. A give, running right, HN. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Now the Patriots are going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. They'll run, A-Chan. And he 
goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Tua wants to throw it on second down. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. This is not the end. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. And now an audible here into something else. Two and now, third and goal. Yeah, quick throw here, that's complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the nine. And there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, covered. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. The kick by Sanders is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. They're still trailing here, but they do get the late field goal. Now their defense will try to keep this score right where it is heading into the locker room. Yeah, and trailing it to break. You obviously don't want to go in off of a negative play. Give them credit for that one. Finding a way to put points on the board. Give them any type of a spark, anything to build off of as they try to plan a comeback. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And just inside of a minute left, Charles. They got a pretty long field ahead of them. I'm curious to see how they play this. But you would think definitely enough time to at least try to get three out of this. Yeah, you want to move with a nice sense of pace. You want to up the tempo a little bit. But you have to do it with some poise as well. You don't want to go so fast that you hurry yourself into mistakes. There's enough time to put points on the board if they do it right. And even though they have the lead, you know that they would love to extend this lead before heading to the locker room. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. And they're not going to go quietly into this halftime break. They know they're in for a fight, so they're trying to make every possession count. They took the big shot there, but it winds up incomplete. He gets us away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. So it sails out of bounds, close to midfield, and they'll say actually right at midfield. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10, right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Tua. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. But whatever they called on defense, they made sure they were ready for the pass on that snap, made the proper adjustments, and helped force an incompletion. Come on, 
Tua once again here on second and ten. He finds his man complete and short. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. A run straight ahead with HM. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Both teams try to avoid being one and done in these playoffs as we start the second half of this AFC wild card game. And the fair catch signaled for and taken, so they'll begin this third quarter from their 25-yard line. at the line ready to go and they've been the better of the two teams through two quarters of play much to the chagrin of this home crowd yeah this score is a surprise to a lot of folks at home although not to my dad he predicted the visitors would win and maybe to the folks in the stadium but you know who is not a surprise to partner this team with the football they were very confident coming in here's second and eight well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he went that down. And it's going to be the third down. And we're going to have a one game in the second half. Now's not the time to force the puck out of places where you shouldn't. And that's a smart decision to just get that one out of there. He'll look to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now they'll auto to something else. They'll look to throw again. He's going to wind up and air it out. Oh, the turnover fest continues. Here's another interception. Picked up by Jerome Baker. And the Dolphins are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. That is just what this defense was hoping for, an interception on the opening possession of this third quarter. Obviously didn't want to surrender a touchdown and fall even farther behind. And we've gotten to know this team a little bit, haven't we? Couldn't you just see their defensive leaders telling the offensive guys, telling the quarterback, don't worry, we got you to start things off. You take it from there. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. First play of the drive going for 14 in the first down. Here's Tua. Escaping the pressure right. And time finally runs out. He can't get rid of the football. He's taken down. They'll wind up losing three there on the sack. Good pressure. And it's second down. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Throw caught by Ochan. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown 
or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down, a nice safe throw and a good one. And yeah, he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Now Tua signaling to change things up. Tua, fast pass outside complete. And he goes backwards on this one. Losing yardage to the seven. Now from the seven, here's second and goal. At the seven yard line. From the gun, it's Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Ochan. Touchdown! Devon Ochan. A seven-yard touchdown play. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from evening this one up. here fair catch and this will come out to the 25 New England with a first down as they begin the drive we got a brand new ball game all even after that last touchdown so every drive now becoming a little more critical here in the second half they throw right away and that's complete out on the right side They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. And Brandon, as you know, sometimes it's a lot tougher to run with these tight ends nowadays in the NFL. They're just bigger wide receivers. He lined up on the left side of formation, ran a drag route across the field, and tried to work his way open. He was able to make the catch, but the defenders were there. Couldn't do a whole lot with it afterwards. Second and four. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 42-yard line. They'll set up a throw. And he will find his man, Schwartz. That's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game. It has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. Looking for Fortin, and he's got him. Touchdown, New England. A great play there. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Aubrey good with a PAT. And that makes it a 17-10 score. So after the touchdown, Aubrey now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
The long drive last time out for this offense, Charles, if you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now, but let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Tug of Iloa to throw on second down here. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they had to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there, second down. Kyle Duggar up to make the tackle. One quarter remains for the right to survive. Round one here in the AFC. Second and six. And two is going to change things up. Throwing now is Chug of Iloa. He's got him in wide open, complete. And off the right on the front line, and touchdown. A big play there. 55 yards. And the Dolphins are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Sanders now to add the extra point. fourth quarter as the kick is away here and he'll elect not to run with it a fair catch will move this out to the 25 yard line the pats at the line ready to go and it's all on the line now all even in this wild card matchup maybe their most important drive of the season coming up right now here first and ten he finds Douglas complete. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. And quickly, they get to the line. Now they'll shift things around. Back to throw now on second and ten. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. And what was a gain? But you have to sense probably a little bit of disappointment there because when it's out there in open space, I think they expect to get more out of the play, don't you? Especially when you're getting it to your guy out of the backfield. You're expecting him to be able to create something, be a little more shifty. Yeah, no doubt about it. Good open field tackling held him to an okay game. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Jerome Baker. Down the sideline he goes. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Second and four. 
Two are going to throw. And oh, it's incomplete. Six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Going to the air, tug of Iloa. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Tua sets up to pass it. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Patriots are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, they were in a great position to take the lead, Charles. Obviously, all they needed was a field goal to do that. They wanted the touchdown. Unfortunately, they're going to get neither. And you know every offense talks about the same thing each week, don't they, Brandon? They want to end every drive with a kick, whether it's a field goal attempt, a point after the touchdown, or at worst, a punt. This time they had that opportunity but didn't get it because you know the field shrinks that close to the end zone. And that allows a defense to tighten up their coverage, and they pick that one off. Gets it quickly out wide to Thornton. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. his way forward here but just three yards on the play second down not a lot of running room there not a place to make a cut and kind of exit out because they had everything bottled up looked to me like the linemen were taking on their blocks really well and giving up no creases Here's a second and seven. And that one going to come up short. Low throw. So I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. The catch might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. The fourth quarter. Maybe you do start to watch his arm there. The legs still there. This has been a tough game. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. He'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 40. A gain of 22. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory right at the 40. Not liking the look, they'll change the play. First down, Irving. 
On a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. Well, they've certainly been successful throwing it around in this game. That's allowed them to move the ball on offense. But I've got to tell you, to watch them run the football and successfully, I'm not taking sides. But to see the ball in the running back's hands, oh, that's football for me. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Second and a yard. Up the middle they go. Irving. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16 yard line. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Here's first down. They'll run on first down. Irving. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with just 70 seconds left to go in the game. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. Now a give, right side, Irving. This drive is turning to an extended one, and, and the guy carrying the ball, he's becoming more of a body blows guy. Every carry is putting some damage on the defense. So after a while, I'm not too sure how many guys are going to run up and tackle him. The Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. A big play here as the crowd noise rises. Third and one.
Well, the offense knew it. They were already starting to walk back as that one is accepted. So the field goal unit is on the field as this is a big spot right here. This to take the lead here in the final minute. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the sideline celebrates as they have taken the lead in the final minute. All right, so time to reset here. It's a huge kick there. Gives them the lead, but they've got to be careful that their celebrations aren't a little too premature. You're exactly right about that because there still is time for the other guys to run a few plays and get into field goal position. So this defense is going to need to come up with one final stop if they're going to get out of here with a victory. They'll come up first and ten here. Now two are going to change the play. Here's Tua. He finds his man complete. It's sharp. And he'll have a quick first down here as he gets out of bounds to stop the clock. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. Here's Tua. He'll dump this off to HM. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. Tua. Incomplete, and we're down to eight seconds now. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Throwing Tua. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's sharp. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. This to potentially send us to overtime. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of looking behind it. And they will tie this game here in the final seconds. We've seen some big kicks in the NFL the last few years, and that one might just rank right up there. And you know you can hear the crowd react, right? But I was focused in on the sideline and watched them absolutely erupt. I don't know how many of them thought that he was actually going to make that kick, but how about how they felt when the ball went over the post?
Well, plenty of chills and thrills in this one, and more to come here as overtime will decide who moves on to the divisional round. And no return here to begin the overtime session. That'll be a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Well, CD certainly doesn't get any more exciting than this. Overtime in the postseason. Of course, keep in mind, things are different than the old way it was in the playoffs. Now, both teams guaranteed a possession, so a touchdown here, if they get one, the ball game will not be over. And, partner, as we both know, many people have called for this change before, and they finally got it after the Buffalo-Kansas City Classic in the 2022 playoffs. Patrick Mahomes and KC, they score first game over. Josh Allen and Bills never touch the football. People hated that. Now the game reaches OT. Every playoff team has a chance to fight to extend their season. So the plan has got to be, if you win the toss and you take the ball, reach the end zone and score, and put as much pressure on your opponent as possible to try and win a game in OT in the playoffs. On first down, back to HM. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. They've had some success here in overtime with this opening drive running the football. Right back to that well. And why not? When you have that kind of success, make them stop you. And until they do, keep going back to that well you just spoke about. I think there's more water there and available to them. First throw of the OT session for two. Right side, Claypool's got it. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Charles, you get into these overtime situations, that's not a bad guy to dial into. Well, when you have to have plays, especially in a spot as you just described, where at OT, you've got to go to the guys you can trust and you know are going to make the plays. Well, they say, it's not the X's and the O's, it's the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And he goes down, it's a Patriot sack. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. Now Tua signaling to change things up. Throwing on second and long. Tua. Throw left side. Taken in by Claypool. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 19. A big play that time on the catch and run. And the Dolphins are going to get a fresh set of downs. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it'll be second down. Well, things now, Charles, looking pretty good here. A great opportunity to try to cash in for six on the opening possession of overtime. And what I'm liking, Brandon, is what I see down on the sidelines. I see a defense huddled up and ready to go, already preparing for their opportunity to go on the field and close out this game. And it looks like he'll be just a yard shy of the five here as he's out at the six. A touchdown does not end it, remember, but it sure would give him a leg up. It's first and goal here. Out of the gun, here's a give to HM. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and goal at the eight-yard line. Now they'll change things up. On second down, Tua. They'll swing this out wide. Here's HM. And he'll be brought down here at the three-yard line. Five yards that time on the completion. And now it's third and goal. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. 
Only a yard there, so it brings up fourth and goal. This is a long drive offensively. Wouldn't you hate to end this with just three points? Doesn't it feel like during a ball game you have certain narratives going on and there's certain drives that seem to take on just a bit more importance than others? This feels like one of those, doesn't it? To me, three points here, a major letdown. This is the time to go and put six on the board. Now with the play clock down to two, we're going to get a timeout here. So as they head to the sidelines, we'll head to this break on EA Sports. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to at least get him a lead here in overtime. Sanders' kick is good, and the Dolphins have taken the lead. They're able to put three on the board here in the opening drive of OT, and now up to their defense to try and see if they can hold this one. I like how you framed it up because obviously this game is not over, right? They go down and kick a field goal, then we head to sudden death. But if the defense can hold, take the ball away, turn it over on downs, this game's over. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. Now a first throw here in overtime. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Well, I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Back-to-back -back completions, and that puts them in enemy territory. And we're always looking for that elusive term, momentum, aren't we? And I think they're building it with the back-to-back -back completions. Now they feel like they can either take a shot or continue to build it the way that they're doing now. Safe throws, get it to their playmakers, and see what happens. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. That is incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball. But he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. They'll need at least a field goal here to keep their Super Bowl dreams alive, and they'll need to do it by the end of the period as they work here on second down. They'll look to throw again. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route. And he ran a little shallower than he was. He went straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Well, welcome back to this wild card contest. The second OT ready to begin here shortly. Nervous time now, moving the chains, an absolute must. Here's third down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. They sort of got a new lease on life there. If he picks that off, this ball game's over. I can hear it. I can hear it. I can hear it. With my defensive backs coach at Tennessee, a lost opportunity is never regained. Used to drive him crazy when I dropped those potential interceptions as that one was there. Back 
to throw again. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he's going to score. It's a touchdown. No flags. And in an overtime thrower, they are moving on to the playoff. No rest. They get to keep playing. They said beginning of the season they wanted to get past the